Scientists are cloning the woolly mammoth at a new Jurassic Park style center using the DNA from preserved Ice Age remains. Yes, this is the Jurassic Park coming true to life, isn't it? It seems that they're about a year and a half away from creating a woolly mammoth hybrid embryo. Scientists are trying to resurrect the woolly mammoth and they believe they're just a couple of years away from creating such a hybrid embryo. If they pull it off, it will be a huge turning point in plans to bring back the ancient beast from extinction. And it's not going to be the only thing they're going to bring back. They plan on bringing other extinct animals back to life, animals that they have found frozen in permafrost, and they want to extract the DNA. This is what they plan to do. They plan to extract the frozen mammoth DNA from the spe specimens they find in their permafrost. The next step would be the DNA spliced with skin cells from the modern Asian elephant. And the next step, step three, would be the skin cells reprogrammed to become stem cells and added to the egg from the ancient, the Asian elephant. The Asian elephant is an endangered species. Now, the, after the skin cells are reprogrammed to become stem cells and then added to the egg from the Asian elephant, you go to step four, eggs stimulated at that time, at that phase, to turn into embryos. And ste that's step five, the embryos grow in the artificial womb yet to be developed. Okay, when they will develop that, who knows? They're going to have to have an artificial womb. I don't know if they can use the womb of the uh, Asian elephant itself. Who knows? And uh, then after it's in the womb and it's successfully um, developing, it will take its time until it's born. The bundle of cells would include genes from the long, shaggy-haired woolly mammoth, thick layers of fat and cold adapted blood. The plan by the ambitious US scientist is to grow the mammoth inside an artificial womb rather than have a surrogate female elephant carry it. Now why? I don't know. How much better is the artificial womb than a surrogate female elephant? But there are still years more work ahead before any serious attempt can be made to produce the actual living and breathing woolly mammoth. This is a project that started back in 2015. Researchers increased the number of edits where the mammoth DNA has been spliced into the elephant genome from 15 to 45. A professor named George Church heads the Harvard University team and he says, we're working on ways to evaluate the impact of all these edits and basically trying to establish embryogenesis in the laboratory. The list of edits affects things that contribute to the success of elephants in cold environments. We already know about ones to do with small ears, subcutaneous fat, hair and blood, but there are others that seem to be positively selected. The woolly mammoth once roamed across Europe and Asia, Africa, even North America during the last ice age. However, it became extinct, it vanished about four and a half thousand years ago, and scientists believe that it vanished due to the combination of climate change and also hunting by humans. Their closest living relative is the Asian elephant, not the African elephant. Now, it's not just the Americans that want to do this. It's also the Russians that want to do this. I guess it's not only the Americans or the Russians, it may be the Indians and the Chinese and whoever else wants to get on the bandwagon. Now, today's article says that Russian scientists are also planning to clone the woolly mammoth at a new Jurassic Park style center, and they will be using the DNA from preserved Ice Age remains. They constructed a world-class research center in the city of Yakutsk. The facility will study the preserved DNA of a number of 
long extinct species, not just the woolly mammoth, so they will be doing this with various other species as well. These will include the woolly rhinoceros, cave lions, and breeds of long-gone horses. Russian President Vladimir Putin will purportedly unveil the plans when he hosts a major investment forum next month, meaning, of course, in September. This is an article by Mail Online by Will Stewart and Harry Petit. They say Russia is opening a brand new $6 million cloning facility that aims to bring back the woolly mammoth and, of course, as we said, the other long extinct species. They have plans for a world-class research center, and it will be located in Yakutsk and will be unveiled next month by Putin during a major investment forum. I guess he'll be asking for investors to invest in that as well, and I'm sure there'll be many who will want to. And uh, I don't know if it'll uh, it work uh, trying to implant this um, embryo in a surrogate womb, in, another surrogate, in an artificial womb. Perhaps it'd be better if they try and do it in a, uh, the Asian elephant womb. I, I don't know what to say. Now, as well as the woolly mammoth, the Russians, as we said, the geneticists are set to study other extinct species, including the woolly rhinoceros, and that went extinct about 10,000 years ago, but they found specimens of them with uh, live DNA that they can work with in the permafrost, so they'll be using that DNA. The cloning laboratories, some of them are sunk deep in the permafrost soil uh, because they aim to extend current research by Russian scientists who are working closely with a team of South Korean specialists to restore these extinct mammals. Amazing. Yakutsk is the capital of Russia's diamond-rich Saka Republic. As we know, Russia is one of the uh, largest diamond exporters of the world. It's a hot spot for frozen animal remains there. As many as 80% of samples of Pleistocene and Holocene animals with preserved soft tissue discovered in Russia have been unearthed in that Yakutsk region. DNA from the ancient animals stay preserved and remains encased in frozen soil known as the permafrost for tens of thousands of years. Yakutsk is also that place that the um, 1950s group of uh, hikers disappeared or died under very mysterious uh, circumstances. But that's another story. Going back to the article, it's hoped that by extracting the DNA from these permafrost remains, they will better understand the biology behind the largest creatures ever to roam the earth. Woolly mammoth coexist with early humans, and they hunted the animal to use its bones and tusks for food, shelter, as well as for food. They believe that that's how the woolly mammoth went extinct about 5,000 years ago. That's about 3,000 BC. The, uh, it was about uh, 6,000 kilograms, six metric tons, and it appeared, disappeared from mainland range by the end of Pleistocene, they say about 10,000 years ago. Isolated populations remained, and they believed to survive St. Paul Island, Alaska, until about 5,600 years ago, and on Wrangell Island in Russia until as recently as only 4,000 years ago. And woolly mammoths believed to have been wiped out because of shrinking habitat caused by climate change, as well as hunting by humans. Now, there are several international projects, including the Harvard team from Harvard University. They're already racing to see who's going to use the preserved mammoth DNA to resurrect the ancient species first. So it's a race. Who's it going to be? The new Russian center aims to study extinct animals from living cells restoring creatures as the woolly mammoth, the woolly rhinoceros, the cave lion, breeds of long-gone horses, according to the Siberian Times. I'll leave a link below for you for this. You'll see some wonderful videos of the uh, Pleistocene Holocene animals found in the Yakutsk region. And you can see some of the preserved animals here. Amazing. Uh, they even ha still have fur on them. 
you can see the videos how they're doing okay well okay this is very interesting uh who knows what they're gonna do i believe they're gonna do it if they have the dna and if they have the for example the woolly mammoth uh uh with the asian elephant egg i guess they can also try and put it in the asian elephant womb i don't know uh i don't know what a synthetic womb is um yeah, Kutsk is uh, near the shore uh, of uh, Siberia, Russian Siberia. And that's where the permafrost uh, is. And that's where they'll be doing their work. Very interesting. I'll leave links below for you for this. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.